Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is what are the best baits and lures for Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel are a real fun fish to catch. Uh, they come through here uh, pretty hot and heavy starting in the spring and then they leave by late fall. Usually once the water temperatures get uh, below 70 degrees, they don't like that. So they're going to head south. Uh, after that, but uh, real fun fish to catch. They're usually, you know, somewhere between one and three pounds. Uh, some people love to eat them, uh, I, I, eh, as far as I'm concerned, but some people love them. Uh, so they're good to eat too. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the best uh, baits and lures to go ahead and catch them with. All right. Now, if you're going for live bait, you know, they, they really like things to be a little bit on the smaller side. So uh, a three to four inch white bait, I don't know what it could be. It might be a thread fin herring. It might be some pilcher, just any kind of white bait. You know, you're talking a little, little bait like this with a small hook. Uh, to me is the best bait there is. Um, you know, as long as the mullet are smaller, they work fine too. Uh, it's not like these Spanish mackerel afraid of bigger baits. They'll hit the bigger bait. You can put a big mullet on your on your hook and send it out there but chances are what you're going to get back is a head missing a body so i find that when you have smaller uh, baits they're much more apt to get themselves hooked than if you use a bigger bait uh, when they're out there feeding so that that's that's why i say that so if, as long as you get a three or four inch mullet it's fine little finger mullet but once you get bigger you very rarely are going to hook the actual um, mackerel. They're, you're just going to come back with pieces of your bait, not the whole bait. All right. As far as lures go, it's really hard to beat a silver spoon. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some examples that I have here. Uh, here's, here's, what is this? Johnson Sprite Silver Spoon. Notice it doesn't have a barrel swivel. Well, that's when I like to put these little snap swivel things on there. So you got a barrel swivel, I'll attach it right to the front because these things have a tendency to spin and it's going to get your line all wrapped up. So I talk about it a little bit later, but uh, you want to double up on your barrel swivel. So you want to have a, that's a snap swivel, you just hook right on the, uh, right on the uh, spoon itself. And then further up your line, above your leader, you'll have another barrel swivel just so you don't get everything all, uh, all messed up and twisted up when you're casting. But let's go over some of these other ones. Another one are these minnow jigs. Now, if you look at a minnow jig, it's basically just an elongated head jig. You know, it's almost like a little piece of a cigarette with a hook hanging out the back of it. Uh, it's really all you're thinking. You just want it to look more streamlined like the minnows that they're normally uh, going after and anchovies and things like that. That's really their specialty is, is the minnow type of uh, bait fish. So there you go. That's what those look like. Uh, also, here's another one. This is probably the most popular one that there is besides a spoon. It's the Gotcha. Gotcha brand lures. And if you look at it, it's basically a silver cigarette <laughs> looking thing with uh, two big treble hooks hanging off of it. And, you know, it's got that shoved nose there, so it does have action back and forth like this. But uh, this is this is considered probably the most probably the po most popular mackerel uh, lure that there is. This gotcha. Just throw it out there, reel it back in, catch a bunch of fish. It's made out of metal, so it doesn't get destroyed by their sharp teeth every time. Uh, really, really good lure for that. Um, if you have lots of baits to spare, they will hit the DOA cow all day. That's the right size, the right shape, and everything else. But you only get to catch one fish per lure uh, because they'll destroy it. They're going to bite it in half almost every time. So, you know, you throw something like that out there with, uh, you know, some sort of jig head like this, small jig head. That's an eighth ounce. Uh, you can maybe do a quarter ounce depending on water depth and things like that. But like I say, they're probably going to destroy it every time. Uh, so if I'm actually going to target them, I'm going to have at least a 30-pound mono leader is what I'm going to have um, on the line for the Spanish mackerel. They are toothy, but, but they don't usually cut through something like this. It takes them a while anyways. So, so here's all your lures that you're going to need. 
Um, you know, if you want to use a, a swimming paddle tail type shad thing, you know, DOA is the one I use with these little with these little jig heads. You might want a minnow type of um, jig, just like these. These are great for vertical jigging too. If you're in deeper water and they're below you and you can just vertical jig these once you find out the depth they're at. Uh, the gotcha and silver spoon, it's hard to beat a silver spoon, catches probably every fish in the sea. Uh, but those are the four that, that are going to really match the hatch because they're probably going to be feeding on a minnow type of bait fish. So those are probably the best ones you got or some sort of pilchard looking bait fish and that's where the silver spoons with their wider profile come in technique well this is one of those fish you know mackerel are fast you're not going to out reel a mackerel they can swim extremely fast so faster is usually better you know you might use a more finesse slower retrieve if you're fishing inshore for trout or redfish or you know tarpon snook whatever but when it comes to these mackerel a faster retrieve is is usually better and what's great about the mackerel is they're one of those bite first fish. They don't seem to care. I think they just will go through the water like this, biting anything that comes in front of them when they're in that feeding mood, uh, feeding frenzy. So basically all you gotta do is cast and reel it back to you kind of fast. Um, also, like I just said a minute ago, you wanna double up on your barrel swivel. So one barrel swivel on the lure, if it's gonna be a, a, a spoon that's probably gonna twist, and then another one up above your leader. And you're probably gonna be good to go. Here's the rods I use. Basically 2500 or 3500 series rod. You know, a lot of action. Cast it out, reel it back, catch a bunch of Spanish mackerel. It's a pretty fun day. Uh, Spanish mackerel, fun fish. A lot of people like to eat them. Uh, when they're around, they're usually around in huge schools. They work together like a, like a pack and they'll You'll watch them. You'll see a you'll see a school of let's say pilchards out there, all scattered. Before you know it, they got them wrapped up in a bait ball and they push them up towards the surface, so it's easier for them to eat. And yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. They're fun to catch. So, anyways, those are the lures that I've used and get, catch the most of them with. Uh, use whatever you want. You know, none of these brands sponsor me or anything, but yeah, I think you get the idea that you're just looking for a minnow like lure if you want to catch Spanish mackerel. But you can learn more of this right on our website. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. Uh, just look under the pro tips and techniques section. I think you'll find the answers to just about everything you need. Uh, that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.